If you want to add a calendar to your website, there are basically three things you need to do before it's ready to add to your Google site. First, you need to create a blank page on your website for your calendar to live on. Use the new page button and create a page for your calendar. Step two is to create a calendar for your class. So I'm going to hop over to my Google Calendar at calendar.google.com and create a new calendar for my English 8 class. I recommend creating a separate calendar for each course that you teach, so it's best to have a separate calendar for English 7 and English 8 because their due dates and assignments will be different. Step 3 is to make sure the calendar is public so that others can view it. Not edit it, but view the events I put on it. I had an option to do that when I made the calendar, but I can easily go back now to change it by clicking on the triangle next to the calendar's name and choosing Share This Calendar. There is an option to share the calendar with everyone at Jeffco, but this will require students to log in to view your calendar, and since parents don't have Jeffco Google accounts, I strongly recommend that you choose the Make This Calendar Public option. Choose the Save button to finalize your changes. Even though your calendar will be viewable by others on your website, this is where you will enter events and edit details. Let me quickly add a couple of events to this calendar. Now I'm ready to insert my calendar on my website, so I'll go back to my Google site, to the page I've created for my 8th grade language arts calendar, and choose the pencil icon to edit the page. Put your cursor where you'd like the calendar to be, and visit the Insert menu. Select the Calendar option. Google will bring up a list of all of your existing calendars that you own or that have been shared with you, so you just need to choose the one that you want. I can only select one calendar from this window, but I will be able to add another on the next page, so I'll click the blue Select button. If I want another calendar displayed, perhaps my school calendar, I can use the Display Another Calendar link and choose another calendar. I don't recommend listing two courses calendars on the same page. It will be confusing for your students. On my website, I will create an entire separate page for my 7th grade calendar, but it is nice to be able to pull in events from a school-wide calendar to display on the same page as the events from my courses calendar for 8th grade language arts. After you've selected your calendar or calendars, you can adjust height and width. I will stick with the default height, and leaving the width area blank will tell Google to fill the entire page with the calendar, which is exactly what I want. I can also determine whether my calendar is displayed in month or week views, and under Display Options, I can configure how I want my calendar to appear and whether or not I want borders and titles. After you have customized these settings, just choose the red Save button. To preview what your calendar will look like to others, click the blue Save button. Looks great. Once I've inserted my calendar on my website, I really won't need to revisit this page. When I add an event to my calendar from Google Calendar, it will automatically appear here on my website too. Let me switch over to Google Calendar and add a new event with an attachment to show you how this works. When adding the event, just double check you are adding it to the correct courses calendar. And then you can use the Add Attachments link to add Google Docs or upload items from your computer. When you add attachments to calendar events, make sure the permissions on all items you attach are set to public or anyone with a link. Otherwise, your students will get a message that they don't have permission to view the item. You don't have to worry about this if you are choosing the Upload from your computer option. Okay, let me save my event. Now, if I hop over to my website and refresh the page, I can see my new event, and students will also be able to access the details in the attachment I have added. So that's how you can add a Google Calendar to your website, which is great for posting homework and other reminders. Just remember to only attach links or Google Docs that have permissions adjusted for others to be able to view them. It's now time for you to try this out. So set up a calendar page on your website, create a calendar in Google Calendar, and make it publicly viewable, and then insert that calendar into your website. Once you've set this up, you'll have a great resource for keeping parents and students informed about what is happening in your classroom.